Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing out there? Thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, in this video right here, I want to I wanna show you because at times like this, I know a lot of people are just barely starting to learn online business, affiliate marketing, and they're grabbing their links and just pasting them in high traffic websites. So um, when that happens, it could be a... a a link, a affiliate link, because a lot of these platforms they don't they don't like that. Also, articles. If you're starting a blog and you grab some articles, like let's say you bought a package from let's say somebody on Fiverr, and um, you want to make sure first of all when you are doing any kind of um, articles and stuff, you want to make sure you got the permission from the owner. To post it and if they don't allow it don't do it also if you do happen to buy a package like I got this one a while back I'm gonna show you right here this article I'm gonna use a uh, health and wellness for an example right this article right here I got this a while back and it's an article let me uh, get rid of this so it's a pretty good article I mean but let's uh, let's test it out to see uh, to see if it uh, has plagiarism in it, because the internet will find it. So is what you do: go to Yahoo or Google. I went to Google. I went to a plagiarism checker, and I've used. Where is it? Where is it? I've used this one before, so I'm going to check that one. And uh, let it load up real quick. Because if you post a article in your blog and it's has plagiarism in it, Google will find it and they will um, they will let you know about it. So it's the last thing we want, especially if you're just starting out. I mean, I know about a lot of this from um, experience. When I was just barely starting. So it's going to check it. It has a lot of plagiarism in there. A lot. So will you want to use this? No, you will not. You're going to want to uh, either bring it up and then side by side uh, make another notepad and rewrite it. Sometimes you could find, I would, use, I would actually make another video on it. You could find um, websites where you could put it in there and then it will automatically change the whole thing. But depending on... Um, if it's been done before the systems will catch it so yeah you wouldn't want to use this right here because let's see you actually right here you could uh, rewrite plagiarism content so let's see what that will do I want to rewrite article Verification failed. I don't know why it did that, but then the two thousand you could have had a you could have had a blog on health and wellness and ran into this article and next thing you know it it just red flags you from the get go. And that's the last thing you want. You don't want that at all. So well, I showed you that. So I'm, let me show you uh, about links. So let's see. Um, and a lot of these websites will get to you on like Quora. Let's go to Quora. I've been building my kind of my following and just being really helpful to people who are just starting. And um, I went in here to weight loss. So let's say I go in here and I... Uh, Let's see, where can I go to uh, vote, post more options?
So let's say I go in here to post a, a, a answer, right? You got to give them value. If, if you're not going to give them value, like let's say I want to come down here. I'm going to I'm gonna get out of that, of course, not that one. I have my links right here. This is my... I want to copy. And if I was just to paste that in there just like that, or... check out this link and then if I was to actually save that in there Cora will get back to me and say that's spam you actually got to leave like a paragraph you leave a paragraph in there giving them value on what um, life if life keto really works or it's a scam on that so you would have to delete this of course and let's say you did your whole paragraph and it ended. And then you could put at the bottom, um, go right here. And then you insert the link. And then it'll put it in there. But it's uh, you do have to give them a lot of value. The best thing to do on Quora from what I learned off my experience is constantly be answering questions. Constantly be answering questions. Don't be leaving your links all the time. Just answer the question. Let them know, you know, let them know that you're there to provide something. You're not just trying to sell them something or you know, sometimes I give away free ebooks with no links in them just just so they could be like, well, "I want to follow this guy." Cuz you're trying to gain a following. So eventually, they start opting in into your business and potentially later on down the road, they feel that you gave them a lot and um they want to make a little purchase off of one of your sites, one of your um one of your links or something. So never go to, uh, let's say you come in here, help them, um, ClickBank. Many of you heard of ClickBank. If you haven't, just go in there, clickbank.com, um, and create an account. You want to promote something like this. So you're going to get your link. Generate hop link. And then we're going to put um, social because we're going to be sharing it on social. So generate a hop link. It's going to give you this link right here. And it's going to let you know that it's for social. Now you could copy it. And it's the same thing. You do not want to like go to Facebook and go to a, um, let's see, weight loss. Let's see, weight loss group. Weight loss motivation. So if you go to something like this, and then you just jump in here. I mean, you see how many people this uh, that like this page. You go in here, and Facebook does not let you cloak anything. Let's see if it'll... Uh... You know, a lot of these, before you join the groups, they do have you answer a few questions, but that one didn't. Let me check out this one that I joined. Let's see if that one will allow me just for a demonstration. Right here. If I was to go in here and I left, um, I just said, here, here you go. Then I just... That right there is going to get me in trouble. So don't do that. First of all, your link is real ugly. That's what a place like, many of you have heard of it. If you have not, bit.ly.com, there's tiny URL. There's quite a few of them. It's where you go and you, uh, you shorten up a, a ugly link into something more that looks a lot better. So I'll go down here for an example. Then I'll hit shorten. Then I'll copy it. Even though I just did that, I do not want to go to Facebook and add that right here either because Facebook will know that's a ClickBank link and uh, they don't really like that. There's certain ways, certain strategies to... Um, 
promote uh, ClickBank products, any products in Facebook or these other social media sites. Like if I was to go to Reddit, I went here a while ago, um, and let's say I was going to do uh, health and wellness. And I don't know what's taking my internet long, but maybe a lot of people on the internet right now in the world. So if I was to go in here and just kind of, I see how many, how much members these have. You know, so if I was to go in here and just drop my links, drop my links, Reddit's going to send me something telling me you can't do that. You know, you just, I'm not leaving them value. There's certain ways. Um, there's certain ways to market in these um, social media websites. So, never just get links from here. You know, make make you a landing page. I got some other videos. I'll uh, post a card up around here somewhere on uh, how to build a landing page. You you are going to want to gather leads. You're building a business. You want to gather names and emails. And certain businesses you want to gather phone numbers as well. But phone numbers will lower your opt-in rate. Um, it's up to you if you want to do that. But it does suck when you kind of when you're expecting it, okay, but when you don't expect it and you uh, start running like, like investment traffic to your link and not that many people go to it or opt in because of what you, uh, you're you asking for phone numbers, that sucks. So you just got to expect that when you're um, asking for phone numbers. A lot of people will not opt in. Um, they won't do it. So just remember when you... Uh, when you're doing articles and like you're making... When you're making, um, make sure your articles are self-written. I mean, if, if you're not writing your own articles, you could always go to places like iWriter. There are some people in, uh, Fiverr.com that will write you good articles. And you just let them know I'm using it for a WordPress website. Uh, if you're using, uh, what was it Yoast SEO, let them know that and, uh, so they could kind of, make it so it's more to uh, the qualifications so it's basically just copy and paste you go into your blog you go into add a new post on your wordpress website or whatever thing you're using and you um you add you add the post and then you copy it and you paste it and it's almost ready to go you might have to make some few adjustments so so seo will pick it up but the last thing you want to do is think that you're okay when you buy a package and um you're basically spamming uh, old content articles in your new blog. It's going to look bad. Google will catch it. And um, so, yeah, just sit there. You can read all this and rewrite it in your own way. Kind of like hack it. You, you can hack it. There's, not, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you were to copy and paste it, that's going to look bad. So if you're just starting out there and you are... Um, you think you could just copy or just copy and paste links into these social media websites um, They will come at you for it. They will let you know either Facebook Instagram um, LinkedIn Twitter or whatever um, They don't like it. So you just have to create uh, follow the guidelines create a landing page uh, make sure you have your terms and conditions in there your privacy policy uh, GDRP affiliate let people know you are an affiliate and if they do and if you and if they decide to make a little purchase off you you're going to make a little something and um, that's the I learned all that I learned some of it the hard way kind of suck but I'm glad I can make this video for you because it'll be a lot better for you so you don't run into that kind of setback because once it's a setback it really it kind of brings down your confidence and you just kind of don't know um you you know your confidence get low and you figure this this is not for you you know you're going to start thinking you just it, it will just drop your confidence i've been there and i done it and uh the best thing to do don't spam links like that 
um, create a landing page. Uh, there's ways to do it. I'll make another video here in a little while, like how to how to go here, like let's say to this group, and you could drop an ad, but you're not paying for it. So there's certain little tricks and strategies. So go ahead. Um, if you like, if you got any value out of this uh, video, please like, subscribe, hit the notification button because I'm dropping. I have time right now to drop a lot of content, so I'm going to be giving you a lot of stuff that I screwed up on. But you're going to be getting it for free. Also, uh, tips and tools that I invested on, and you're going to get it for free. Because at a time like this, we all just got to come together and just make it happen. I want to say thank you very much for uh, stopping by my channel. Have a good day, good night, wherever you're at. Bye.